Buzzstones Airwaves. This is Buzz signing in with episode 39 of Airwaves. And in this episode, I've got something new to show you. New power supply that I uh, just recently purchased. As a matter of fact, just came in the mail today. And I uh, want to let you uh, take a look at it. It's a Jetstream model JTP S32 MAB switching power mode power supply. Now I already have a uh, Astron power supply. I'll show you that here in a minute just to give you a size comparison. This is a uh, 30 amp switching power supply made by Jetstream. It's a uh, 30 amp uh, momentary uh, 20 amp continuous power supply and it's got some I was looking for a while here uh, to find another power supply because I really only had uh, one large one that was the Astron I have a couple smaller power supplies and I really wanted one that was dedicated for my two main radios which are the uh, Zygu uh, G90 and the TH uh, excuse me TYT TH9800 radio I'm going to dedicate those to this power supply and I'm going to run everything else off the Astron including a um, linear amplifier which I also just purchased but that won't be in this video I'll do a follow-up video on that later on but wanted to show you this power supply I think it's pretty cool like so I was looking around for quite a while there were certain features that I knew that I wanted and uh, this one I thought uh, for the price and for the features it had and for the the good reviews uh, that I saw uh, was probably uh, the best one for me and just to read you uh, from the manual that came with the radio it's a high efficiency compact lightweight high performance switching power supply it's also engineered to minimize the noise specifically for communications even when the noise does occur, it can be eliminated by the noise offset control. Uh, many convenient functions like voltage preset knob and a highly visible backlit meter are all included in this uh, power supply. And so, what I'm going to do here next is, just for size comparison, like I say, this is a 30 amp power supply. Uh, 20 amps continuous. And what I was using as my main power supply before, the Astron, it's a RS20M, M, uh, meaning that it has meters, has voltage, and a current meter. Now this is a 20 amp power supply, okay? Compare that to this, which is a 30 amp power supply, and of course, I'm sure most of you know that uh, switching power supplies, uh, the way they're designed it, it is why they're able to make it uh, so much power in a small package. Let me zoom in here so you can get a better look. Well, you can see my hand there holding it, how small this unit really is. And I like that because it fits very easily uh, here on the desktop. And over here on the left, you have your on-off rocker switch uh, with your power indicator. You have the illuminated uh, analog meter. And it has a switch here, which are two modes. There's voltage, which is in right now. And it's adjusted for 13.8 volts. That's the way it came from the factory. And you can switch over here if you want to get amperage. Uh, current reading there's nothing connected to this power supply at the moment so there is no current this is that shifter knob that I was uh, reading to you in the instruction manual there uh, there are some people who have experienced issues not with this particular uh, power supply per se but with switching power supplies in general uh, that they on the HF band uh, they can produce some interference and uh, with this model if you do experience that on a particular frequency by tuning this knob you can actually tune that uh, 
the interference out. Now one of the main selling points for me uh, also on this power supply was that it had the Anderson power pole connectors on the front of the uh, power supply. One of those because that makes it easy. I, I used the Anderson power poles in all my radios. So I wanted to be able to easily uh, plug radios into this if I wanted to be able to uh, switch radios around uh, for instance. And there are two sets of Anderson power pole um, jacks on the front which made it extra nice. Now I'm going to have to uh, show you the back here and we have to unplug the power cable momentarily. Um, looking here at the back, pretty standard fare uh, for a power supply and it has the uh, old-fashioned or standard uh, twist connectors, screw down connectors. So you, in addition to the Anderson power pole connectors you have on the front, you have the traditional type uh, connectors on the back. So that's another feature. It has a cooling fan uh, built in and this fan is super, super quiet. Uh, in watching other videos about power supplies, a lot of people complain about the noise level in them. Uh, it is irritating. Uh, this one, when you first start it up, it has a little bit of noise, but within a few seconds it quiets down and it's just super, super quiet. Another thing I liked about this is that it has that uh, traditional computer type power cord. So if you want to pack it up and uh, take it with you, it's much easier to do that because uh, like the Astron, the uh, power cable is permanently affixed. Uh, uh, internally inside the cabinet of the power supply and then you've got on the sides here you got air vents to help keep it cool on both sides of it but anyway um, as you can see very compact uh, very light it's amazing the difference between this 30 amp power supply and the 20 amp uh, Astron. Now, of course, a lot of people uh, swear by the traditional uh, power supply. Some people don't like the switching power supplies, but as I said, I, I read, did a lot of research, and this one had a lot of good reviews. People really had nothing but good things to say about it. Um, so, I just got it in the mail today. I'm going to be hooking up, like I said, my Zygu G90 and the uh, TYT TH9800 to this, and uh, be uh, checking it out with those two. Uh, with the Astron I'm going to have uh, my other radios which is the uh, I've got a single band uh, um, VHF radio over there 2 meter and also a CB radio uh, that I'll be running off the Astron as well as the new uh, linear amplifier I got. And I will tell you it's a Palomar uh, TX100. I found it on eBay at a great price. The thing is just super clean. I got it in the mail today too, so you know after I've had a time to uh, connect everything up, then I'll be doing another video uh, on that as well. So this is Buzz. It's been episode 39 of Airwaves. I hope if you haven't subscribed that you will subscribe to the channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, like I say, be watching uh, as soon as I can. I'll be putting out uh, one or two more videos here, hopefully in the next couple of days. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you down the dial.